Hey everyone, in this video, we will see how you can control USB access on select devices using a GPO. Removable storage devices such as USB drives have gained widespread use and become an indispensable way for storage of data. However, they also pose a threat to an organization's security. For instance, an employee might connect a device infected with malware to a computer. So, let's see how you can control USB access. Firstly, let's see how you can disable USB access using a GPO. Go to Server Manager, then click on Tools, and select Group Policy Management. In the left pane here, navigate to the domain on which you want the policy to be applied. Right-click on the Group Policy Objects container, and select New. Enter a name for the GPO, and click OK. Now, right-click on the GPO that was just created, and click Edit. In the Group Policy Management Editor window that pops up, navigate to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, System. And finally, Removable Storage Access. The Removable Storage Access section contains multiple options for different types of storage devices. Right-click on all Removable Storage classes, Deny All Access, and click on Edit. In the dialog box that opens, select the Enable option to block all access to USB devices. Click on Apply and then click OK. Once the group policy is created, it can be linked to the desired organizational unit which contains the devices to which USB access is to be denied. Going back to the Group Policy Management window, locate the organizational unit to which the group policy needs to be applied, and right-click on it. Select the Link an Existing GPO option. Select the required GPO from the list of available ones, and click OK. And done. This links the group policy to all the computers in the organizational unit. If a USB device is connected to any computer within the selected organizational unit, a message stating access denied can be seen. You can perform a group policy update for the policy to take effect immediately. To know more about how you can enable access to select computers using groups, check out our article in the description right below the like button, and also make sure to subscribe for more such videos. So that's it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.